Democrats um, ignorantly say this is in the Constitution, separation of church and state, and they don't know what it means. Um, and they think that that means you can't talk about God. Colorado, come get your girl. And when I say come get your girl, I am referring to Congresswoman Lauren Bober. She has challenges. And I don't know Colorado, great state of Colorado. What did we, the rest of us in the United States of America, do to you for you to send such a person to the Congress? So she went on this rant against Congresswoman Ilhan Omar because of her hijab. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you so worried about what the Congresswoman wears? And she, le she linked this to if the Democrats care so much about separation of church and state. Colorado, please come get your girl. So this is what she said. If there really is the separation of church and state, like they believe, they mean in Democrats, then what is Ilhan doing with her hijab on? Why is she able to go in there with that? Girl, get your life. If there really is this separation of church and state like they believe it means, well, then what is Ilhan doing with her, with her hijab on? I mean, why? Why is she able to go in there with that? I mean, why aren't they shouting that from the rooftop? Separation of church and state. And then this congresswoman, and I use the term loosely. Well, no, I'm gonna go ahead and call her congresswoman. Colorado, y'all voted her in. I had the nerve to say that the Democrats don't understand what separation of church and state means. She's the one that doesn't understand what the term separation of church and state means. But I'm gonna just go on to the constitution. Will you come with me? We're gonna see what the constitution has to say about this. So it reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. So the fact that Congresswoman Ilhan Omar wears her hijab has nothing to do with the concept of separation of church and state. But see, she don't understand that. She doesn't get that. The very fact that the Congresswoman can express who she is, all of herself, and I'm talking about Congresswoman Ilha Omar, is part of what this First Amendment is saying, that you, you, can, you just can't stop people do, doing that. But see, this chick doesn't get that. She'll make no law. And the last time I checked, Constitution didn't say anything about how people dress. And the fact that Congresswoman Bobart feels the need to target Congresswoman Ilhan Omar is a flipping problem. And yes, target. Because what she is doing is further feeding into this right wing frenzy about any religion or expression of religion that is not rooted in Christianity. That is a problem. And not only does she put the Congresswoman in danger and her family in danger, she puts any other of our sisters and brothers and family and friends who are Muslim or who practice the faith of Islam in jeopardy. The woman is a fool, Colorado. Why, oh why? What have we ever done to deserve this? I wanna know, Inquirer Minds wanna know, Colorado. Y'all got to weigh in on this, cause I'm trying to understand. And I know there's some other folks who wanna to understand too. Why did y'all send this woman to Congress? I'm, I'm trying to stay cool, calm and collected about this, but the, the just it's just ridiculous. So Colorado, do us a favor. Do the rest of us in the country a favor. When the next elections come around, don't send her back, please. It is an utter embarrassment. Do not send her back. I know you can do better than that. And, and even in the district that, that leans more Republicans, Republicans, I know that you can do better than Lauren Boebert. Please show us that you care by not sending this woman back. She's a bad reflection on you, Colorado. She really, really is. And while you're at it, while she there right now, please make sure that she doing some work for the people and stop playing games, schoolyard games. I mean, listening to her talk made me think she was still in high school, worrying about what Congresswoman Ilhan Omar is wearing. Well, then what is Ilhan doing with her, with her hijab on? I mean, why, why is she able to go in there with that? Get your business. Colorado, we got our eye on you, baby. You can do better. You deserve better. We deserve better. Let's get on it.